Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the series. Hope everyone's doing well today. We are picking up here from camp office, obviously in Mystery Lake. Um, I've just slept through the night here and uh, I'm waking up first thing. Um, I see that I've got a few extra calories from the night, so I'm gonna see if I can't read a, a chapter of something here really quickly. Let's see, I haven't started either of these. Uh, let's do the cooking one. Let's see if we get it done. Yep, okay, just barely. Barely had a little bit of calories left. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think we just need to keep making progress towards um, completing some of our pro our projects. So we need to get uh, some more pelts cured. We need to potentially craft a bow. That might be the thing to do first. Um, so that way we can, you know, shoot more deer and, and things like that to get uh, to get some more pelts to craft some more clothing and everything. Um, yeah, our maple sapling's not cured though, so. What can we do in the interim? I guess I could make arrows. We did get all of our arrowheads and everything crafted. Um, I could probably drop some stuff for now, to be honest. I'm carrying quite a bit of stuff. Um, drop all our cans. Put those there. Put some of our sewing kits down. They're not super heavy. Um, I guess we could probably pot down if we're just going to kind of be in the area. Um, give me that, please. There we go. What else? Got that scrap that we didn't end up using. And then what's going on with this? Okay, that one's done. But I'm going to take it upstairs and put it on the floor just so I can kind of like see it and visualize it, right? Like if I'm carrying it around, I'm going to forget I have it. And so... If I put it with the rest of everything, then chances are I'm going to remember better. Okay. So I think the natural thing is probably to make arrows, but let's maybe run outside and see what's going on out there. We could always do things like gather some more firewood and, and, and things along those lines too. Gosh, I'm like up, down, up, down, up, down the stairs right now. Um, I'm just going to throw the sticks that I'm carrying here. Okay. Yeah, let's go maybe do a quick loop for some more sticks and things, and then we can kind of get started on arrows. It's not a great morning out here, but we're not planning to go far, so that's okay. Um, what's that? That's not always been there. I've never seen that container before. Interesting. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing's in there, but I don't think I've ever seen that because if you've watched the channel for a while, I will often put a fire right there. And that's kind of like where I do my cooking and my uh, water boiling and stuff when we're here. And uh, I've never seen that container there before. Interesting. Um, as usual, guys, as we kind of get this episode started, um, I do appreciate y'all tuning in and checking out the episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to hit the like button for me. Um, we did officially cross 700 subscribers, so I do ap appreciate all your guys' support for the channel. Um, you know, we talked about that for a while, and it seemed like for a couple episodes there, we were just, you know, three or four away, and we finally, I think last I saw, we were like three or four over, so... Appreciate you guys uh, who've all subscribed in the last uh, few days. Um, it has been a few days since my last episode on the channel. Um, guys, I've just been super sick. Uh, it's just that time of year. Um, I, I'm like, you know, I have the feedback in my headphones um, so I can hear my own voice and it just sounds weird to me still. So if I sound a little bit different, that's why as well. Um, just, yeah, it's been a long week of just not feeling very well uh kind of started with my my kids of course and they all were sick and inevitably you know picked up whatever they had brought home so here we are i'm mostly feeling better just you know got that cough that's probably going to hang on for another week or two and uh so that's kind of where why i've been slow to post the last few days so appreciate y'all being patient Alright, I'm not turning up too many sticks out here, so let's just maybe go in and 
craft those arrows and then maybe within a day or so we'll have um, our maple sapling cured. I can take this stuff inside. I don't really need to right now. Okay, so we need five tools. I know I had some. Hmm. Tools make it faster to craft arrows, so that's why I'm trying to find them. There they are. Okay. Let's grab one of these bad boys. And uh, start crafting some arrow shafts. How many feathers do we have? I think feathers are honestly probably going to be our limiting resource. So we might need to do some feather hunting too. Okay, let's grab that one and then there's, let's grab a couple more. And we'll start with the shafts and then we'll need to obviously go on from there. Wish I could do more than one at a time, but it's okay. concentrate on the shafts first and then we'll jump into arrows so that should give us nine shafts we had 17 feathers I'm assuming each feather is three leaves is that correct yep so what we're gonna be able to make five arrows Just start. Can I not make? I hate that it's not letting me craft more than one at a time, but it is what it is. Craft. Okay. I need to drink, drink some water after this one. Guys, I uh, so Hinterland recently had their pop-up store, and they had all of the you know the cool goodies that everyone always wants. Um, where are my tools? What's going on? Why won't it let me? Okay, there it goes. I don't know what the deal was. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna you know finally order that cool Hinterland mug that everybody wants, and uh, I totally forgot about it on, on the day that it was open. I think it's still open. I haven't honestly looked. Um, I saw like the social media posts and feedback and stuff that pretty much everything like sold out immediately. I think even maybe Raph or, or the Hinterland account was like, you know, we're going to try and get more, more frequently, um, which is a bummer. I was looking forward to it. Um, I just, uh, like I said, I've kind of been out of the swing of things for a few days and so just totally breezed right by without uh, remembering that it was open. Um, how many arrows? I feel like that was five, but I must not have been counting very closely. No, this it. No? Alright, I'm just like wigging out here a little bit. That was four. Okay. I think we can make two more. I must have just no, I was right. We made five. I was like, I must have just done my math wrong or something. <laughs> but no, we I, I did it right. Um, okay, so let's just start on some arrows. Let's drop that. Let's stash the extra shafts in the drawer here. Same with the arrowheads. We just need to be sure to grab those before we think about like moving long distance. Um, but yeah, we got got some arrows crafted. Let's check on our sapling over here. It's only at 19%. That's almost done. What do we want to craft first in terms of the deer pelts? Oops. Do we want uh, boots or pants? I'm never... I'm sure I've had this conversation and this thought like 10 times, but I never like really... So, those will give us a four and a half degree bonus. Versus, let's look at what we're wearing. 
Our boots only give us two and a half. Those give us one and a half degrees. The pants would give us an extra 2.1 degrees. What were, the, what were the boots that I'm wearing? The boots would give us 2.4. No, it would give us 2. Um, it's honestly kind of a wash. Um, in terms of the overall warmth, I didn't really look at the windbreak or anything like that, but. Hmm. I guess we really only need one more. Right, because we have one there, we have three upstairs, it takes five to make both. If we could get this darn bow crafted. Let's go out here real quick. Okay. I don't think there's any deer out there, like any carcasses, that would still have a pelt on them. Like, it'd be really nice if I could just go grab another one, but... I don't think there's any out there. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go up here tonight and spend the night. Um, just because we spent most of, obviously, the day inside. So if I can mitigate any cabin fever risk before it gets going, I think uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to go up the hill and probably sleep in the cave. Just play it safe. Cabin fever. like miss this super bad when I come up here. I always need to go this way. A long, long ways. And then it always results in me spraining something. I think I did see today somewhere on social media that the next new region is uh, supposed to be... Re here, Tarmigan over here. Probably means my cave is over here. Um, the next new region is supposed to be out by end of year sometime. So as I record this today, it is November 11th. Um, no, my cave is not over here. I think it's up there. Um, so sometime in the next couple of months, basically, right? I'm gonna lean probably towards December. So we're probably like a month to you know, whatever, away, month to month and a half away from the new region, which is cool. Um, maybe if we're still kicking in this series at that point, maybe we'll head that way. I don't know. Um, obviously, last time we explored it in Stalker, and that's kind of like what my my uh, thought process would be again, just because it's yeah. I need to find a rock or something to see if I can't bag one of these tarm again. Um, but maybe, you know, maybe we'll head that way. I don't know. Never say never. We'll probably check it out in Stalker first, and then if it seems like it's a safe bet, we can head there. Something, something like that, you know. I just, I want to get these ptarmigan feathers for the base layer. I've talked about it now for a long time and I've never managed to just the timing hasn't been right or whatever the case has been. I just haven't gotten the feathers, so Let's see if we can't do this. I haven't gotten quite used to the different controller here for aiming quite yet. Oh that hit him. A little delayed reaction, but it got him. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna keep me warm though. Alright, let's head back to the cave. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad out. To where like I have to run back down to the cabin before uh, the night's over. Let's go back here. Should start warming up, yep. Okay, let's go ahead and harvest him like immediately. Let's just get the feathers. Four hours? 
that's insane. I mean, it's still two hours and 40 minutes, which is just crazy to me. Should have drunk, drank some water beforehand, but we should recover all that in our sleep, so. And then I'm just gonna ditch the carcass. I don't think we'll really, honestly, get around to cooking it, so. All right, let's eat. What time is it? Yeah, it's plenty late to go to bed. Let's do some pork and beans. I have got a turkey outside on my smoker. I'm keeping an eye on here as I record. It's obviously not quite Thanksgiving yet, but uh, I'm actually doing two of them this week. Doing one for uh, a friend um, for work, and uh, just another one to kind of have at home. Sometimes I'll cook them for like the the family meal, and then you know some years we don't. And so uh, I don't think I'm going to be cooking one for like my broader family this year. So just kind of wanted to still do one and enjoy one. So got one on the smoker and one still in the fridge. All right, so we made it through the night, easy enough. Let's pick that up really quick. I want to check something for that base layer, the improved insulation. Oh, we only need one more feather. That's annoying. All right, well, let's go see if there's another ptarmigan out here, huh? Those might be better gloves than what we have on. They're banged up. We can look at them a little bit later. I guess really we should get rabbit pelts. We should do that while we're up here too, since there's a couple of them over there. Let's see if our ptarmigan are back. I'm not seeing them. I mean, that's fine, whatever. We have a start. It's not like the insulation or the base layer or whatever it's called. It's not. Wow, there's three rabbits? I don't think I've ever seen three rabbits up here. I'm just like super shaky with uh, the Xbox controller and aiming. I, I've i talked about it before and said it before, but the PlayStation 5 controller is just... It's leaps and bounds better. It just is. I'm so, for whoever that may offend, um, it's just it's just better. Um, I don't know. Oh, man, see, I just can't. Is that my last rock? I thought I had more rocks than that. Okay, well, we won't spend too much more time doing this. Rabbit would be nice, but it's not. <laughs> Not the end of the world. Okay, we got one. Can't get this guy too. Oh, there's his buddy. <laughs> he turned like right as I released that. How far did that go? Wow, that went all the way over here. All right, we need to be uh, getting inside. Let's try, let's give like one last go to get one at least one of these guys, and then if we miss again, we'll just go inside and uh, work with what we got for now. It's just a bummer because they're like right next to each other. Okay, there's one more, and then where did that last one hop off to? We'll take one shot at him if we get him. Great. He turned right to the last minute there. Okay, well, let's head inside. We can get more rabbit pelts later. It's not a huge priority. Try not to kill myself on the way down here. But inevitably. Oh, we didn't hurt anything. 
Oh, okay. Apparently I just missed the ledge. Okay. So let's get those guys harvested. Drink. Ooh, we're getting pretty low in water. We might need to make some more water today, too. Um, let's do that first. Might as well harvest them all the way. I hate my stomach is eating itself. And then we could, when we go to make that water, we could cook up the meat. Which almost makes me wish I'd harvested that ptarmigan too. But, it's okay. We could always go back for it if I was that desperate. I'm really not, though. Okay. And then, oh, we got one more piece of meat. And then let's throw those pelts down. Are there any rabbits nearby that I could go run and get? Um, you know, actually, we probably ought to think about water. Um, why did I come up here? Oh, the sticks. Where's my other pot? I left it down here somewhere, I know. Right there. It sounds like it's doing a little something outside. Let's let's see. I'd like to have this fire outside, but if it's not possible, then it's not possible. Yep, not possible. Um, okay, let's go back in. Okay. Um, you know what we could do. Switched over to those gloves. I think they're going to be warmer. We're wearing like the, forget what they're called, but they're like work gloves. Ragged work gloves. Yeah, these will be a better option. Well, that's weird. They like spawned on top of each other. Okay. What else? I mean, we can do water indoors if we need to. I really don't have a ton of sticks at this point. That's kind of what I wanted to do a little bit more uh, stick gathering before anything else, really, but it's okay. I guess we could craft some uh, work on our deer clothing, one piece of it. Let's do the boots first. I'm just gonna make that decision. Again, I don't think it's a huge deal either way. But just what I'm what I'm thinking. Okay. So let's do like three hours. Oh, I should have drank water. Kind of my like Achilles heel right now is I'm just like not keeping an eye on my water level. It sounded like it did stop outdoors. So let's go out. Yeah, it's not great, but. Not horrible either. It just sounds really windy. Still playing that audio, but it's not so crazy. That's nice out. Okay. Well, let's get a fire going real quick. Can 
use my mag glass. That's nice. Let's do that. It's been a long time, I think, since I've actually started a fire with the magnifying glass. We've always got one, and like even if I play stalker by myself, I'll generally, you know, use matches first. All right. um, so I just don't think I've done it in a long time. And then it, the timing just kind of has to work out in the interloper, right? Like you have to have a decent day with the sun out to be able to use it. Okay. So that will get started. I wanted to kind of take a peek and see if there weren't any more rabbits just in the near vicinity. Grab this. I did just hear a tarm again. I wonder if they're back up there. I kind of want to go check it out. Because we could do a couple things up there if, if that third or last row... No, it sounds like he's over here. Oh, he's right in front of me. Weird. It's like a single ptarmigan. Oh, he's gone. That was weird. I tell you what, though. Let's go up the hill anyway. And just see. Maybe we see that rabbit right away, or maybe the bigger group of ptarmigans is up here. And then by the time we come back down, our water should be getting pretty close to being done. I was kind of thinking um, so I'm, I'm off of work today. Um, it's a holiday for the company I work for. Veterans Day is tomorrow, and we get Veterans Day off, and since it falls on a Saturday. Okay, there goes the wrist. I still have one. No, I can't throw a rock. That was both wrists? What in the world? That's a pain. Um... Gosh. Both wrists in one one go. Uh, anyway, what I was saying is, you know, I'm off work today. If I'd have realized it, I, I didn't realize it. Well, a couple things. I didn't realize it until Monday. Uh, and I just happened to see it on a co-worker's calendar. And I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. Because um, we haven't always had it off. It's This might be the first year, honestly. Um... And, uh, so I was kind of thinking, like, you know, if I really kind of planned it out, maybe I could have done a live stream today. Um, I don't see the rabbit. But, uh, I think even if, because, like, I, I mean, I could still probably get my ducks in a row and, and have done one this afternoon if I wanted to. But, uh. I just, I don't think I feel well enough. Um, I've like already while recording this episode muted a couple of times and coughed pretty good, so. It may have been pretty ugly. I can't believe we lost both wrists to that. That's so silly. I didn't see the rapids anyway, so. here. I like this spot because it's mostly protected from the wind. Pretty much has to come from this way. And it's kind of in its own little like hole there. And then I mean, you've got this. So it's a pretty good spot, honestly, to, to have a fire because it's pretty wind protected. That's why I like it. I don't know, I could almost like store some matches or something, or 
a pot or something in this little container. Still have an hour on that. Might be worth it to try and get another round. Find a few sticks here in the nearby vicinity. Could do this. I think that should be enough. Um, one thing I do want to do, let's go inside. I didn't make any progress on this yet today. So I'm just going to do an hour. I guess I could probably do two hours, right? And then that should, our water should be done outside, so let's go grab that, and then we'll come back in and go to bed. Oh, it went out. But our water finished, so we're good. Okay, let's go in and go to bed. Navigate the dark. It's usually pretty easy to do in camp office just because you do have the windows as kind of like landmarks, but who knows. Um, Alright, so let's eat the dog food. And probably the, the granola bar candy bar as well. It'll give us a little bit more calories than we need, but it's okay. Yeah, that mug, this coffee mug was in their shop. Um, and I know everybody likes that mug and wants that mug and it's almost never available. Um, and I'm bummed that I missed the chance to. Okay, let's go to sleep. Sun's not quite up. Let's just pass the time. I'd like to read, but may not have let us anyway. Okay. Um, let's go downstairs. Let's drop some of the excess water we're carrying so we're lighter. And then let's work on our boots. See if we can't get those done today. I'd think that, because it's been a couple days, our sapling should be, like, pretty close. Let's drink some water. left. Let's just go ahead and kill it. That was actually only an hour and a half. Thirty minutes. Boom. Okay. Just ditching the old one. Okay, let's get those on. Um Drop our other two pairs of boots, and we're good. All right, so next is uh, deerskin pants. That's at 50%, so maybe another couple days still. I wish there was a way to expedite that process. Like, if I put it next to a fire, like, you know, nearby, it would dry out faster. Something along those lines. Um, all right, well, what else can we work on right now? We need another deer pelt to really craft the pants, so that's kind of out of the question. Does this stuff need repaired? This could use repaired. Let's do that. Okay, we're at 
100 percent on that 94 74 76 46 that can use some love i have to go outside and get i have a big pile of cloth out front i have to go grab some more oh gosh or i could just do this it's really already almost nighttime again it's wild to me Let's go outside. Yeah, it's decently warm out here. I'm just thinking, like, trying to keep ahead of cabin fever. I'd really like to get a ptarmigan. We just need one more feather. We could go check up there. I'm trying to think where else they spawn um, in the region. Honestly, I'm not quite sure. There might be some over by trappers. I kind of want to go over to trappers to burn off some energy so we get a better night's sleep. So let's maybe do that. We'll run a little bit on our way over there and maybe spend the night. I could grab some sticks and stuff on this little trip because we just used everything we had so it'd be good to build up another little stick pile made and things like I, we're in really good shape um, I mean I, I know that's like famous last words saying that but this has been a pretty good start to a run as well obviously we have the frostbite I get it um, it's unfortunate but other than that it's been pretty pretty good we got our tools we just need our bow we're crafting our clothing um, I think really we just kind of need to decide over the course of the next episode or two what our overall direction is going to be. Where do we want to go? You know, what do we want to do? What regions do we want to try and live, at, live in? You know, we did like... One season we did like Hush River Valley for... I don't know how long ultimately we ended up spending there, but we stayed there for a considerable amount of time. Um, we were going to try and do like a hundred days in Black Rock. Um, we died kind of do a, indirectly from a glitch in that series. So we didn't finish that. Um, you know, last season we were going to try and do 500 days overall. Still something I'd like to reach. Let's not, not, uh not super crucial I'd rather just like pick a spot and go and have fun rather than um, you know worrying so much about that maybe we go to fruit sake and airfield I don't know or somewhere in between would be a different experience for sure There's some other regions I haven't been to lately. We could try the bleak inlet thing. It's always obviously a dangerous proposition. I mean, it's no more dangerous probably than Black Rock, but it's dangerous, right? Because of the Timberwolves. But we could maybe try and spend some time there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Might as well grab this. I was gonna ignore it and then I 
saw the coal and was like, oh, I should grab that coal. And we're like two steps away from the sapling anyway, so. I mean, there has been at least one point in all of our seasons where I was like looking for saplings, right? Like I needed arrows. So, with that in mind, should grab them when I see them. How many sticks do I have? Just 14. I feel like I kind of forgot about grabbing sticks. Okay, so there's probably some rabbits over here. Doe over there. the dough and just try and get the rabbits. Before we do that, let's go over to the cabin and see what's over there. I'd really like to, like, my main focus would be uh, ptarmigans. I'm kind of wondering if ptarmigans spawn behind trappers, um, like rabbits do. I'm not sure, but I'd like to check it out. I feel like they're supposed to spawn in um, like higher altitude locations. But I mean, they spawn right out in front of camp office. So like them spawning up by that cave where I um, got the one, like that makes sense to me um, based on what they said when they were introduced. But then you, like, like, you got the ones right out in front of camp office, which don't make as much sense. So there's one rabbit. There's two rabbits. No time against. Just listening. Okay, don't hear anything. Well, we can bag these rabbits, maybe at least go inside and harvest them. And then uh, we'll have a couple more pelts. Oh man, on the on the go. Sorry, buddy, you took a bad angle there. Shouldn't have ran right at me. Dang it! I just I don't know. It's me. I was gonna make an excuse, but it's me. I'm just missing. Where's he going? I can you hear him? I think he's going back up that way. Yep. If I can get through here somehow. It's a little more sensitive, maybe. But I mean, that could be dialed out in the settings, probably. Okay. All right, let's, uh, actually I could probably harvest them out here. I think we're probably far enough away from any kind of wolves or anything that I really need to worry about that. So let's just, just go for it out here. At least get the uh, pelts and stuff. I was starting to get cold, but still have plenty of time. Unless it just mega drops, just doesn't look like it, so. Okay, let's go inside. Go to bed. When you guys explain to me and my fatigue meter down there with the little red means in the comments, but I've already forgotten. Um, Uh, what was I gonna do? 
Let's go ahead and put that stuff down so it cures while we're here. And then we'll grab it in the morning. Okay, let's eat cattails. We're down to cattails. cure really fast um how stinky are we one bar that should be fine we should be able to make that um let's head back towards camp office so we should have what four rabbit pelts now i think it costs if i'm recalling without checking it costs maybe four for the gloves and two for the hat three for the hat i mean So we still need more, but got a good start. It's tempting to go grab those. Oh, I, don't, I didn't pick up my rocks. I'm a fool. I'll take a swing at these guys on my way. And then we just might have to get a little shifty with any wolves or anything that pick up our scent. But that's kind of the name in the link in the long dark. Name name of the game. Gosh, that didn't come out real well. last one if we don't get him then sorry buddy you had one one more chance to make it out of that didn't happen for you um okay let's see what we can do here oh, I went right over the top of him I know I'm not picking up my rocks, but I'm gonna get home. So that'll be that'll bring us up to six total, which is a good number. So we could bag, you know, another one or two in short order, then we'd have plenty. Get some uh, gloves and hats made. You know, I haven't seen a wolf in a while, to be honest. I'm not complaining. What if I was just... Oh, there's one right there. See, he's on my scent. Um... What if when so when timber wolves were introduced, I, they're kind of divisive, right? Some people just absolutely hate them. Um, you know, some people it's a welcome challenge or whatever. 
I don't, I kind of tend to lean on the like I, I'm not a huge huge fan of them. They're a unique um, challenge for sure. But like you know, an interloper, you're not really as well equipped to deal with them as you are, and maybe stalker on down. Um, what if it was changed to where? Timberwolves were everywhere, but they only came out after dark. Like, what if they were truly nocturnal? And black wolves, like this guy following me, like the standard, just regular black ones. Um, there's a rabbit over there. Um, they're, you know, they're out during the day, and they're everywhere. And then, like, you don't want to be out at night because that's when the timber wolves come out. Or, you know, like if you need to travel at night, you need to be extra careful because of the timber wolves. I kind of like that idea. I don't know how realistic it is. Oh, am I? I totally have missed here. I was thinking about that idea too much. I don't know, I kind of like it. Leave me alone. And the thing to do would be if I had some of that raw rabbit on me, but I don't because I left it all over there. I could, because I'm probably not going to eat it anyway, you know, I could leave it for him. I don't know. I've got a pretty good little pile over here now. I may end up cooking it. If we get another, like, day where it's warm and sunny and I can use my mag glass to start the fire, then maybe worthwhile. Okay, let's get them harvested. First, let's... Oh, no. Already? Has that not just been there a day? That's bizarre. I feel like it's supposed to take longer than that. Huh. Okay, well, we're not eating that. I mean, I get that it would have gone down a lot because I left it inside, but not like 100 to 0 in the course of a day or so. Weird. What's this guy at? 63% slowly but surely. I mean, the maple saplings, I don't know how many days it is exactly, but they take a while. Um, okay, I needed to harvest these guys. So let's do that. And then, yeah, well, I mean, shoot. I just, I'm surprised, honestly, that it was so quick. Okay, well let's put the pelts down. Put these over here. Let's take the meat outside. listening for ptarmigans. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, so we've got a pretty good little collection going. Let me double check. It's three and four, so we need seven total. I think we've got six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Man, if I could get one more. Hmm. There was that last, well, I've seen a couple more that I haven't gotten. There was one more up the hill originally, and then we just saw one on our way back. I don't really want to go out there again, though. 
Um, I think though, yeah, I think this is a good spot. We'll go ahead and call this an episode, guys. Um, so we'll wrap up here. Um, and then I think next episode, hopefully this is, guy will be done and we can either use our newly crafted bow to go uh, hunt this last rabbit or uh, we can go out and throw some more rocks around. So we'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, as usual, guys, appreciate y'all tuning in, checking out the episode. If you enjoyed the episode today, be sure to hit the like button for me. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, um, we are officially on the road to 800 subscribers. So if you want to help me out and uh, join the uh, channel and kind of continue to help me grow, would definitely welcome that. And then, of course, any comments you guys have for me, throw those into the comments section. And, uh, yeah, guys, that is it for me in this one. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks.